Hello, hello, IHSSA family. Today is Monday, November 18th, and I share with you a very, very special surprise on behalf of our RISE, RISE IHSSA Student Ensemble. RISE has created a lovely, engaging, fun, creative uh, marketing video for you to share with your students regarding all of the 11 large group events. As you are auditioning your students, and yes, many of you are all underway and off and rocking, but also we know that several of you are just beginning your IHSSA journey. Please use this video to promote all of the IHSSA large group events. Also, the QR code here is for you to pass on to your students, and we will also share the link in our resources page on the website. Enjoy! My name is Lexi Brown from Wapolo High School. I'm sharing this information to you from IHSSA RISE. Today, I'm sharing some insight on why trying a new category is fantastic. Speech is an exciting activity with plenty of categories for everyone. That is a selling point to most people in the IHSSA family. However, sometimes the limits of categories that you can do and even the limits of people per category can mess up those plans that you have for yourself during your speech season. Sometimes it's interesting to try something new, to try something better, to try something you never thought you would have done before. New things can be pretty scary. When you're in a public speaking section, you're standing in front of all these people you don't know, and you're doing something you've never tried before. However, in speech, not everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody is trying something new, and you don't have to be afraid of the jokes that you might face. Trust yourself, and trust your group. You might not always have the best outcome, and it might not always be the best thing. However, it's sometimes fun to give something new a try, and even if you don't take it to state or even all state, it's still fun to look at yourself and think, this is what I can improve on, and this is what I did good. Freshman year, I had come into speech. It was my first time doing anything related to it. I had always been a person who loved acting, but I had never tried anything like improv. So coming into improv, I was a little nervous, but I had a really great group that taught me some really great things about improv. Sadly, we didn't get the outcome we wanted, and they were both seniors, so they weren't coming back. But we had a great season, and we had so much fun with Jimothy's Metal Pants. One thing to take away from my words is that my speech team isn't really that big. These three you see in the background, this is basically my whole speech team, minus one person. The hard part about being in a small school is that you kind of pick a category and you just go with it. You don't really have a mentor. You have your speech coach, and that's the only person that can help you out. So trying a new category is kind of interesting because you just go with what your speech coach knows. If I could try a new category, I would probably try mine. I would usually go for a musical category like chorale reading or even musical theater, but sometimes I like to surprise myself and I like to challenge myself. Trying something new, like I preached before, can be rewarding in unexpected ways. It might teach you something about yourself, and it might even teach you something about the world. So sometimes, it's good to try something new, and it's good to come out of your comfort zone. And at least you've got your group with you, right guys? Woo! So get out there, and do something unexpected. I hope you have a great speech season this year. Hello folks. My name is Carson Beer from Creston Community High School. And on behalf of IHSSA's RISE program, as you can see <clears throat> on my t-shirt, I will be describing one of my favorite categories within the large group speech association, simply known as musical theater. This isn't plugged in, why am I lying to you? 
The thing about musical theater that makes it so fantastic to me is it's the telling of art. It's the telling of a story through the format of musical theater, and this usually is done by singing, but can be done via dancing, and can involve scenes of dialogue and just straight up acting. Uh, I love this category. One of the major downfalls is you only get 10 minutes to tell your story, but that means you have to be smooth, succinct, and tell exactly what you want to say. No time to waste, right? In this category, you can have two to eight people, okay? Which means you can have a duet all the way up to an octet. One of my favorite memories from this category was last year going to Allstate. Can never be too... And seeing all the musical theaters that made it. For example, I was crying from laughter from Spamalot, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, and Trail to Oregon. And then I was crying from crying by watching the banner winner of that year, Tick Tick Boom. Truly an incredible art form that can move people via humor, drama, comedy, happiness, sadness, joy, anger, frustration, any emotion you can name, you will feel it. Musical theater is one of the few things that can combine song and emotion so beautifully that moves me to tears. I truly hope you consider musical theater for your large group speech categories. And on behalf of IHSSA, honk, honk, honk. Thank you. Hello, my name is Riley Peterson and I'm from Lamar's Community High School and today I will be giving you this information on behalf of the IHSSA and RISE. So today I will be talking about TV news and why it might be a good category for you. Um, so to start, I think TV news has that little bit of structure and that little bit of creative freedom um, where you can pick actual news stories from any time period and make your TV news whatever you want it to be and also include a commercial of your own creative freedom. It can be up to 10 minutes and include 2 to 15 students in the whole entire group. But remember that we don't want any adults in the video because this TV new newscast is about the students and not about them. Um, it, you can also re-record each submission after, work, after you receive critiques, um, which is also a really great part, and it's also great for those who maybe can't attend contests um, or have a little bit of stage fright and just are unsure of what to try. Um, personally, when I did TV news, my favorite memory was when I had to do an interview with my cat about cloning cats, and I had to be this like crazy cat lady, and she ran away. I found her. But um, it was definitely a unique experience for me. So I really hope that you give TV News a try. And I really think that anybody can do this category. But those who are like really good with special effects, um, editing, and just have that like natural TV newscaster, radio announcer voice would be really great for this category. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks. Hello. My name is Josiah Kwadibo from West Des Moines Valley High School, and I am giving you this message on behalf of the IHSSA RISE. There are many amazing categories in IHSSA, and I have the honor of speaking about improv. Improv is fantastic. In the improv category, teams of up to five people will be able to choose three prompts randomly from their judges. After getting those three prompts, they will have a two minute preparation period in which they can choose which one prompt they want to incorporate into their scene and how they will incorporate it. They will then get some time to set up their scene with up to five chairs. And while they are setting up those chairs, they are allowed to talk. Then after they are done setting up, a five minute timer will start at the first movement or word made by the performers. For those who are worried about time, there is a great thing that IHSSA implemented in which you have time cards that tell you how much time you have remaining. These time cards will have numbers on them such as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a half. Yeah. With those time cards, you will be able to tell how much time you have in a scene and when you should be wrapping up. I personally love IHSSA Improv because it fosters connections and it fosters relationships. IHSSA requires that you make good communication skills, but improv specifically requires that you build connections because you cannot do good improv without connections. 
even within improv scenes, good improvs often have relationships that the characters can fall back on that deepen the scene. This is very true in the lives of the actors as well, as they often have to build a relationship so that they can play off each other when they are in scene. It also has fostered a good communication requirement for me because I often found myself having to listen to people. And it was very hard to actively listen to people when I was just starting out because I had just gotten out of COVID and I didn't really have to interact to people in person for at least a year. So after using I just to say, I feel like I've had more expertise and more practice communicating with people actively. These are only a few of the many, many reasons that you should try improv and I just to say as a total. But I hope that they convinced you to do I just to say improv when you compete this year. And I can't wait to see the rest of you all at competition. Mind is all about showing emotions and telling a story without the use of words. The mind category may be appealing to those who have a background in or are interested in dance, have a love of storytelling, choreography, and best of all, there's no lines to memorize. Large group minds are split up into two categories, group mind, which is two to six people, and solo mind, which is solo but it's still included in the large group festival. Both minds must have a placard that shows the mind title and will be placed on a contest provided view. Lines are also typically accompanied by background music to go along with, but it's not required. Solo mime takes five minutes to perform, and group mime takes seven. Something that I and many others adore about the mime category is how it pushes actors to convey emotions to the purest form without having dialogue to literally tell the audience what is happening. And since the only characterization that's happening should be shown through body language, we know apparel that a person's branch should convey a character or show with in the mime category, you are free to create your own storyline with no restrictions that normally a script may give you. You can do a comedy, a tragedy, or anything in between. In fact, one of my favorite speech memories was getting to be the white swan in a mime tragedy based off the swan race ballet. In mime, making creative choices, putting yourself out there, and being able to show complex facial emotions are essential for this category, as well as being able to create a storyline without the help of a script. I truly believe that mime is one of the most underappreciated categories in speech, which is really unfortunate because of how fun it is to perform and create in the whole process throughout. You should all try mime because it is such a fantastic speech category. My name is Jackson Rue and I'm from Hampton Dumont Cal High School. I am bringing you this information today on behalf of the IHSSA RISE. Here is why Reader's Theatre is fantastic. Reader's Theatre can range in group member size. You can have as few as two people all the way up to 15. The performance may last for up to 25 minutes, but of course it doesn't have to be that long. In Reader's Theatre, you are not allowed to use props. You can, and you can have minimal set pieces like ladders, benches, and chairs. One of the nice things about Reader's Theatre is you do have a script. So you do not have to worry about memorizing lines, so those that are scared to do that would love Reader's Theater. My favorite Reader's Theater memory was from my freshman year. Our coaches wanted to do something fun for our first year of speech, so we did the Seussification of Romeo and Juliet. So it was Romeo and Juliet, but Dr. Seuss style. I just remember every practice was full of laughter and fun. The one practice before our district contest our coaches made us switch scripts with another person in the cast. We were all so nervous that we would mess it up and forget it before contest, but that practice was the most fun of the year. It was full of laughter and all sorts of craziness. Reader's Theater is nice because you get to hang out with your friends and mess around with your coaches. That is why Reader's Theater is fantastic. I hope you give it a try. Flowers, and I'm coming to you live from the 
Waterloo West High School Little Theater. I'm here to share this information with you on behalf of IHSSA Brats, and I'm going to give you the inside scoop on how awesome debate is. Debate is one of the more versatile categories that you can do within IHSSA because it's actually four categories in one. The four categories are as follows. Public Forum, or PF, Lincoln Douglas, or LD, Policy, and Student Conference. Public Forum is a two-on-two -two debate where the debaters will choose sides within round and debate the benefits and harms of the proposed resolution. The resolution changes once a month, typically. And at the end of the round, a judge decides who wins. Lincoln Douglas is like PF, where you will debate the benefits and harms of proposed resolution and they change each month, except Lincoln Douglas is one on one debate. And then we differ a little bit from the norm when we move on to policy. Policy, like public forum, is a two on two debate where they benefit, where they debate the benefits and harms of a proposed resolution, except their resolution lasts all year. They debate the exact same thing for the entire debate season, which generally lasts from October to mid-March. So that's a lot of time to actually get to research your topic and put in a lot of work to really do your best. And then we differ the most from the norm when we move on to Student Congress. Student Congress is cool because it functions like an actual Congress. The students will propose and write bills that they then debate over every time they go to a term. They can choose different bills to propose or they can propose the same bill all year and see if the judge actually decides on their bill to be the judge. Debate is really, really awesome and I personally recommend it. One of my favorite memories from debate was when um, my freshman year, I was a novice debater. That's what we call the new people. And me and my current team's captain and my partner, Eris Johnson, went to IHSSA State Debate at Phoenix, and we made it to Octofinals. Granted, we did not win Octofinals, but knowing that two debaters who had only been debating for about four months were three rounds away from a state championship is definitely one of the most awesome feelings that I have ever felt in my entire life. And that's coming from someone who's been to Allstate at least once, only once actually. And that's something that I'm truly never going to forget. So with that, I say, go out and debate. And if you don't buy my argument, take it from our school's current captain. I'm Iris Johnson and I affirm this message. Hi, I'm Jenny Gutierrez. I'm a senior at Sturm Lake High School in Sturm Lake, Iowa. And I am also a Northwest District Officer for IHSSA Rise. Today, I want to talk to you behind the camera and inform you on why you should join Radio News in your large group speech season. Category requires the participation of at least two or eight people. That, de that depends on how many people you have going out for it. The time limit for this is between five minutes to six minutes. So don't go overboard and don't make it too short. This category is all about making a news channel. So you can make a radio news channel using a mix of factual and comedic stories. It's like something you want to listen to. Consider it being convincing, funny, and relatively entertaining. Favorite memories with radio news is just all the funny, like, information that was included by my peers in their hard work to bring alive a radio channel. Now, I'm not for certain that they will become radio broadcasters when they're older, but they've all got talent. Everyone, really, and not even just from Stern Lake, not just from Northwest District, but everybody who considers doing video just needs the skills of editing, having some humor, researching, and Getting, having fun with it. I think it's a category that anybody can join who doesn't really want to be on scene or in the camera light. This is a lot of technical stuff in my opinion, but it is definitely good for people to express their creativity through their words. Something that I think many of our first years and even like our last years of speech participants can do. My name is Jenny Gutierrez and that is why I think you should do radio broadcasting. See ya! Hello, my name is Eliana Broadbeck from Decorah High School. I am sharing this information with you on behalf of IHSSA RISE. Here's some insight on why ensemble acting is fantastic. 
Ensemble acting is very similar to a play, except it's way shorter. Ensemble can go up to 15 minutes, and you can have... Two to six participants! participants. As far as your script, Ensemble acting offers a lot of creativity. Your script can be on any topic of your choosing. Happy or sad, comedy or drama, there's an Ensemble script for everyone. But costuming is not allowed in Ensemble acting. You are allowed... Seven, seven chairs, chairs in one, one table! But oh, wait! In ensemble acting, you are not allowed to bring your own chair. Your competition center will provide this for you. However, you can bring your own table! Ensemble acting is an amazing category because it forces you to think outside the box. The lack of props and costumes may seem scary, but it really allows you to build the story and make the whole thing more fun. Good skills to have if you're interest interested in ensemble acting are creativity, flexibility, mindfulness, comedic timing, and being able to be animated. Thank, Thank you! Guys. Hello, my name is Sarai Sanchez, and I'm from the Mount Pleasant Community Ooh. High School, and I'm speaking on behalf of the IHSSA Rice. Here are some insight on why short film is so fantastic. Short film shows movement using claymation, animation, and objects. A short film is no longer than five minutes from the opening title to the closing credits. The cast and crew can consist of one to 15 students per project. Your short film may be a remake of another person's idea, but don't be afraid to get creative. Judges want to feel like they've watched a complete film in five minutes. So make sure that you have an effective storyline. Know your audience. Judges and audiences will notice the amount of effort you put into a film. It is important to care about your work because it will reflect in your film. Don't disqualify yourself by creating a disruptive or obscene film. Be creative and collaborative with your teammates while following the guidelines. Speech is about communicating at the best level but also making choices at the best level. Just like in any speech event, don't ever, ever, ever include any school identification. Following the rules, being creative, being passionate about your work, and being able to have fun is all that it takes to be in short film and really in speech. I know that anyone who tries out this category will have the satisfaction of expressing themselves through motion pictures. I know that at times you will get frustrated with audio and transitions, but I know that you will fall in love with the end results. Thank you for listening. And if you need any more information on short film or other categories, please go to the IHSSA website. Best of luck students, I'll see you at districts. I'm Preston from Sheldon High School and I'm here today on behalf of the 2024 IHSSA RISE Committee. And I'm here today to tell you why choral reading is fantastic. Choral reading is a large group category that focuses on the blend of voices to convey and tell an overall story. This story could be one continuous story, or it could be a combination of multiple different smaller selections. Each group can have three to 15 people and your school can only submit one choral reading each year. It can be as short as you want, but there is a 15 minute time limit. What's nice about choral reading is that you can use any props, costumes, or any other things that you would like. As long as it ties to the overall story, you're in the clear. However, don't use anything that could be deemed dangerous, such as a smoke machine or any weapons that could damage or hurt you or the audience. On top of that, you're allowed anything from singing, dancing, choreography, or blocking. So make sure to use the entire performance space. One thing that I've learned from being in choral reading is that you have to participate in it as a group and not as individuals. Another thing that I've learned is that listening is a major part of speaking because when you listen well, you're able to elevate your performance and create something great with the other members of your ensemble. Now get out there and have a great speech season. Hi, my name is EJ Miller and I am from Cedar Rapids, Washington High School and I am here to tell you all about, on behalf of the IHSSA RISE, why One Act Play is a fantastic category for you to try. Now, what is One Act Play, you ask? I'll tell you. 
What at play is a category where you are given 35 minutes to pull on a full production of a play. It is one of, out of the two categories where you can have costumes and props. Now, what comes with one at play? Of course, it comes with memorizing lines and learning blocking from time to time, just like any other category category does. But the fun part about one act is, of course, the costumes and the props. We feel as if costumes and props helps us make better choices as performers, in my personal experience. It does. Now, with one act play, there are a lot of moving pieces. You can have so many set pieces as you want to. Speaking from personal experience, why you should try one act play, I'll tell you. If I didn't do one act play, I wouldn't have so many friends that I have to this day. I mean, I feel that way about doing speech in general. Now, with one act, the, because of the memorizing the lines and the constantly running, blocking over and over again, the fact that you get to be part of technically a mini play adds more repertoire to you and also gives you more chance to a bigger chance to have fun with yourself. So, from EJ Miller personally, I think that one act play will be a great category for you to try. You might not like it, but you probably will. You don't know that unless you give it a try. Thank you.